So students, as promised in my last video of introduction and summary, I told you all to read the chapter once to get an idea about how confusing this poem is. So today, in this video, we are going to continue the poem with explanation of the lines, with explanation of all the stanzas. Okay, so let's start it. This is the house that Jack built. Now, which is the house? The picture of this house is given here. This is the house that Jack built. This is the malt. Malt is a type of a grain that has been kept in water for some time and then it is dried. Okay. It's a type of grain. Simply to understand, it's a type of grain. So, this is the house with Jack, which is the name of a person. He built this house and this is the malt. This is the dried grains that lay in the house that Jack built. Now, where is this malt? Malt is in Jack's house. Understood here? Okay. This is the rat that ate the malt that lay in the house that Jack built. Now, again, there is a rat which is living in the house of Jack which is eating the malt which was kept. Okay. So, there is a house which Jack built <coughs> in that house. There is grain, there is malt and there is rat who is eating that malt. <coughs> this is the cat that killed the rat that ate the malt that lay in the house that Jack built. Now again in the same house there is a cat also who killed the rat who was living in the Jack's house. And who was this cat? This cat, uh, this rat, this rat was the one who ate the malt. Okay. This is the dog that worried the cat, that killed the rat, that ate the malt, that lay in the house that Jack built. Now there is one more dog. Who is this dog? This is the same dog who worried the cat. That means the cat was scared of this dog. Okay. Now who was the cat? This is the same cat who killed the rat. And which was the rat? Rat was the one who ate the malt. Clear? So this is how all the animals, everything in the house is interconnected with each other. Okay? Let's continue. This is the cow with the crumpled horn. Crumpled horn means? Crumpled means something with her which has a lots of fold in it. And horn is a hard pointed thing that grows in pairs on the heads of animals such as cows and goats. This is the horn. Okay. So this is the cow with crumpled horn that tossed the dog, that worried the cat, that killed the rat, that ate the mall, that lay in the house that Jack built. Again, this has become confusing but it is not to be confused at all because they are talking about the same family where this cat, where this dog, where this rat, where this cow, everyone lived together. Now let's read this in, uh, stanza once again. This is the cow with the crumpled horn. This is the same cow with the crumpled horn who tossed the dog. Now, what is the meaning of tossed? Tossing means to throw gently. Okay, so this cow, what she did, she threw the dog. Which dog? The same dog of which the cat was scared of. Okay, and which cat? The same cat which killed the rat. And which rat? The same rat which ate the malt. So see how everyone is connected with each other. Okay, let's come to the next page. This is the maiden all forlorn that milked the cow with the crumpled horn that tossed the dog that worried the cat that killed the rat that ate the malt that lay in the house that Jack built. Now there is this lady who is all forlorn. Forlorn means lonely. So this is the lady who is all alone. Who is this lady? This is the lady that milked the cow with crumpled horn. This lady used to milk the cow. Milking the cow means taking out the milk from the cow. So this is the same lady who used to milk the cow. Which cow? The cow with crumpled 
hall. That tossed the dog, that worried the cat, that killed the rat, that ate the mud, that lay in the house, that Jack built. Now, now again, here all the animals, they are interconnected as discussed earlier. Okay. Now, there's a man who is described here. This is the man all tattered and torn that kissed the maiden all forlorn. Now, this is the man. Who is this man? This man is all tattered and torn. That is all old and torn. He is wearing torn clothes. And who is this man? He is the same man that kissed the maiden all forlorn. That kissed the maiden all forlorn means he was having an affair with that lady. Okay, he was in love with that lady that made the cow with the crumpled horn. Which, which uh, woman he is he talking about? It is talking about the same lady who used to milk the cow with the crumpled horn. And which uh, cow again? The same cow that tossed the dog, that worried the cat, that killed the rat, that ate the malt and the lay, that lay in the house that Jack built. Now again, all the animals which we talked about earlier, they are interconnected. This is the priest all shaven and shorn. That married the man all tattered and torn. Again, a priest is introduced here. Who is this priest? He is the priest all shaven and shorn. All shaven and shorn means he is bald. He is not having complete hair on his head. He is a bald man. That married the man all tattered and torn. This uh, priest, he helped this man marry the lady. That kissed the maiden all forlorn, that milked the cow with the crumpled horn, that tossed the dog, that worried the cat, that killed the rat, that ate the mud, that lay in the house that Jack built, that lay in the house that Jack built. Now who is this priest? This priest helped this man marry that lady who used to milk the cow with the crumpled horn. Okay. Now who was that lady? The lady used to milk the cow with the crumpled horn. The cow was the same who tossed the dog. The dog was the same who scared the cat. The cat was the same who killed the rat. And the rat was the same who ate the malt in the house that Jack built. Understood? So this is how the sequence is interconnected to each other. And one by one we are getting to know about how they are interrelated. Okay, so now we have come to the end of this explanation. All of you are requested to go through the poem once. And now I am going to write the difficult words on the board. Copy it down as a, and as homework you will repeat it once more. Okay, so let me just clean my board. So, difficult words. First is malt. Second is built. Third is worried. Fourth is Crumpled. Fifth is tossed. Sixth is made in. Seventh is forlorn. Eighth is tattered. Ninth is shaven and tenth one is shorn. So these are ten difficult words that you need to write in your copy and as homework you will repeat it. So I am writing homework here. Repeat difficult words once more. Okay? 
So this is your homework. And don't forget to read the difficult words also to learn it. So children, we will be meeting soon in our next video with a new chapter. Till then, keep following the updates. Okay, take care. Have a nice day.